Hi, how's it going? Now, I can't 100% take credit for this. In fact, I can close to 0% take credit for this. The following little technique was shown to me by the username Oscus Poscus. Oscus Poscus on the Get Into Game Dev Discord. So massive thank you, Oscar. Um, thank you. This is so cool. This is so awesome. They actually got it from a member of the OpenTK Discord who was helping them out with the compute shader, and this just happened to come up. But um, oh, this is this is a spicy one. This is a, a really good one. So I'll just I'll demonstrate it. So to start with, let's just run this little ray tracing program, and here we have a scene. I think it's about it's several thousand spheres. Just this is like a standard test scene that I like to use. It's running at about 60 frames per second, so I'm I'm pretty happy with that. Looks nice as well. So the question is, can we speed this up? And it's computer graphics, so of course we can speed it up. Now have a look at this. What we're doing is we're uh, let's not prepare the scene. Okay, so go to render the scene. So when we go to render the scene, we have our compute shader and we dispatch a number of jobs, a number of work groups or something. And here we're dispatching one for each pixel on the screen. And then on the shader side, on the shader side, we're declaring the, the work group size is just one by one is, is one pixel. So let's do this. Let's change the work group size to two by two. So this shader will basically be invoked four times per work group. And then for the number of work groups that we'll send over, we will simply divide each of the dimensions by two. Now remember that number, 60 frames per second. Let's see how it goes now. Okay, so now we're now doing 160 frames per second. And all we, oh, two, yeah, 200 even, just, you know. So where were we? We were like here. Looks the same. It's now running at 180 frames per second. That's pretty big. And all we did was tune the parameters. So it turns out that the, the shader is, the compute shader is happier to do more work with a smaller number of work groups. Let's try this again. Let's go four by four because there is a diminishing return here. Um, one of which is there's only so much I can divide my screen, but we go four by four and now we're up to 400 frames per second. So we went from 60 to 180 to 400. And I mean, as you can see, it's the same result. It's the same render. It's just happening a lot faster. 460 frames per second. I think that is, that is just so cool. I'm really, I'm shocked. Let's take it one more. Let's go, yeah, divide by eight. I can't divide by any more than that. So I'll just stick with eight by eight as my patch size. And now we'll give that a go. And we're up to about five, yeah, 570. So, I mean, how cool is that? I, we're doing the same thing as before. It's exactly the same thing. It's just the GPU is just handling it better. I don't know about, I don't know about you, but I just think that's so cool. And I'm just gonna gush about this for a bit because it's just, it really is incredible. So this has actually motivated me a bit to, to keep pushing it further and see what I can do, but have a look at this. Okay. So here I am looking at absolutely nothing up to about 3000 frames per second. That's so cool. That's so cool. Then we look back at the scene and what are we doing? 800. I just love this. I'm blown away by this. Okay. Anyway, so look, I just wanted to do a little announcement. I think this stuff is so cool. Code is down below, but I've just demonstrated it. It doesn't matter. If you have a compute shader, just tweak the number of work groups, the work group size and see how that affects performance. But anyway, as always, you know, hope you had a, hope you had a good one. Hope you're doing well. Hope you're doing good. And I'll see you again next time. Bye.